I picked up this Vivitar HD action camera from the discount store Ollie's. It costs $19.99 plus tax. Good price, but is it a good camera? I'll find out if this was a deal or a dud that's coming up on Thrifty AV. On an older thrift haul video visiting the store Ollie's in Pampa, Texas, link in the description, I mentioned seeing a $20 basically action camera, but I did not pick it up. Uh, well, one of my commenters said that they would like for me to try this camera out. Well, I decided to go ahead and try this camera out. So next trip to Ollie's, I picked up this $19.99 action camera uh, to see how it performs. Now, I've already tested it out a little bit and this is out of the packaging. Let's back up and check out the unpackaging. Okay, here is the Vivitar DVR 781. I picked it up at Ollie's for $19.99. It's in this blister packaging, which I prefer to open with scissors instead of a pocket knife because it becomes easier to reseal if I decide to uh, let go of this. Okay, on the top here, we have the camera in the protective case. It's the kind where you have to push that to the side to open it. Ooh, we have some plastic to peel here. This side of the camera has some scratches from the factory. Unless this was a refurb, repackaged, there's no protective plastic there. And there is no protective plastic in front of the lens. And there's no protective plastic in front of that lens. Let's see what else is in here. A bicycle mount. A USB cable. Some straps. A surface mount. A tightener. A battery. Another little screw tightener, uh, troubleshooting, and an instruction manual, and a third little mount here. There are no mounts that are offset. That's not good because if I need to mount this, say, to a windshield, uh, this thing's not going to do it for me. Fortunately, I have other mounting gear that I can use from other cameras. Let's go ahead and get this battery charged up. It is a 220 milliamp hour battery. Make sure the contacts are positioned right. And let's clip this cover back on. This is the type of cover that comes completely off. So be careful not to lose it. Okay, now let's uh, charge it using this cable. 220 milliamp hours is low capacity on this battery. It's not gonna last very long. For comparison, I have another low-cost Chinese action cam that came with a 900 milliamp hour battery, and my Campark V30 came with a 1350 milliamp hour battery. 220, you're not going to catch a whole lot of action with this action cam. I want to talk about the controls on this camera. This is both the power button and the mode button in the front here. This button on the top says OK. It's also used for the shutter on the camera and accessing the menu. There are up and down buttons here on the side and that's where the little speaker is. And over here is where you plug in your micro USB and your micro SD card. I'm going to hit the power button. See if anything comes up here. Sings a little song to me. Okay, the default mode is video mode, shows a little video camera here. And if I hit the OK button, right now it is recording footage. And in the lower right, it shows how long you've been recording the file. Hitting OK again stops it. Now I'm going to hit the button in the front again. Okay, now it's a little A here, and that is the picture mode. That's 
for photographs. So I'm gonna snap a couple of photographs here. And it just did a reboot for some reason. I guess this came loose. Now I'm gonna hit mode again. And now this is the audio capture mode. And it shows a picture of a microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and record. Right above the USB port are three little holes. Those are the holes for the microphone. And right now you're listening to me being captured through the Vivitar Action Cam. This is audio only capture. The fourth mode is a playback mode for files that I've recorded. I think that might play back. Yeah, that's going to play back the audio file that I just recorded. And then it circles back around to video mode. When you plug the Vivitar into the computer, you get this logo. This is now acting as a USB storage device. This does not have an option to use as a webcam. There is also no HDMI out, so you can't use it as a webcam via HDMI capture. Now there is no quarter inch 20 on here, but I'll figure out some way to mount this to a tripod and shoot some video of myself. Now you're watching and listening to me through the Vivitar action cam, and I had to place it rather far away from me most action cams have a rather wide field of view. This Vivitar has a very narrow field of view. So I had to place it further away from me and it still looks pretty tight on my face. I found zero kind of zoom controls on the Vivitar. I thought maybe it was on the wrong setting. There is no control that I found over the lens angle. You are stuck with this narrow field of view. That looked bad. This is supposed to create HD video files at 720p, but I've seen better footage coming out of an old flip phone. I thought maybe the lens was dirty, but that lens is clean. It doesn't have any smudges or anything on it, so that's not causing the focus issue. I thought maybe it had a manual focus. This is a fixed focus lens, which means it's just out of focus for everything. Also, the framing on it, that thing was about four feet away from me and it was real, real tight. That's not what you want on an action cam. Most of the time with an action cam, you want a rather panoramic view of your surroundings. You don't want something zoomed in real tight. When you review an action cam, you should give it a little bit of action. So I put the Vivitar inside its protective housing here, mounted it to a Willis Jeep and took it for a ride. Keep in mind that the audio is gonna be even worse than normal because this microphone is covered up by this protective housing. Checking the media info, the first thing I notice is that this camera records AVI files. What that means is it does not have the processing power to use the more advanced codecs. Bitrate of 7612 kbps might sound pretty good, but with an AVI, you're not going to get as much as you would with an MP4 or something like that. The codec is the Motion JPEG MJPG. The bitrate for the video is 11.8 megabits per second. The width is 1280 height 720, and that is 720p. So the files are 720p, even if they look really soft. The aspect ratio is 16 to 9, frame rates 30 frames per second. YUV color space, 422 chroma subsampling with an 8 bit depth. Audio is PCM with a bit rate of 256 kbps. It is mono, bit depth is 16 bits. It's just the microphone built into the thing is pretty crummy. I don't know if I purchased a defective unit or if all Vivitar DVR 781s are as bad as this one, but this is definitely a dud. The video looks bad, the audio sounds bad, it has a narrow field of view when what you want on an action cam has a wider field of view. The battery is low capacity, so it's really not going to last that long. 
you can't use it as a webcam. In fact, it has really no useful purposes. So I wasted my money so you don't have to. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons and members. It's your contributions that help me test out stuff like this to see if they are any good. Stay thrifty, everyone.